when you think of One World Products, think of us as the, the raw material supplier of, of hemp and cannabis to the industry. And we cultivate and we grow in Colombia. The reason why we chose Colombia is for the equatorial advantages that it gives us. We work with the indigenous farmers and growers. Uh, we work with the soil and the sun. You know, we, those are all three ingredients in terms of what we do, how we grow, what we cultivate. So uh, not only are we in the THC and CBD space, uh, but we're also in the industrial hemp space. And when you look at Super the industrial hemp space from a carbon reduction standpoint, and we're working closely now with the auto industry to help the auto industry reduce its carbon footprint mm -hmm. uh, by replacing some of their plastics with hemp and thus reducing carbon. Um, you know, we're working, you know, in the builder space. When you look at, when you look at plastics, again, anything that's made of plastics, if you can think, you know, 10, 15 years from now, mm -hmm. it will be made of hemp because that's what the environment and the world is calling for. And we, have, we want to be the biggest supplier of that. But let me double down on this, right? We know that you can make plastic with hemp. You can yeah. also make fuels with hemp. Remember yes. Henry Ford's dream, right? Yes, like to yes. make, and he made it. Do you yeah. envision a future where, you know, the entire car ecosystem runs on hemp, including the fuel? I, not, not only the automotive industry, but again, uh, as I said, we want to be the supplier to every industry. So in the automotive industry, like you, you, you accurately pointed out, Henry Ford made a car built of hemp. Not only can you use hemp to build the car, but you can also use it again for fuel. You can use it for food. Uh, mm -hmm. This plant is really one-stop shopping for, you know, for the world right now, for the environment. It's a natural carbon sink when you think about reducing carbon. And that's just in the automotive industry, right? So when you move to packaging, when you look oh, yeah. at plastics and, and, and reducing your carbon footprint by replacing plastics now with hemp, and, 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 what we, and what we find and where we find ourselves in a very unique position at is, again, you have to have the supply to meet the demand. Oh, yeah. And as industries look to shift, not just companies. There are some companies who will look to shift, and there will be a supplier who can supply the company. But we're looking to supply the industries that are looking to make the big shift. 